you know, often, you know, I'll, I'll bump into, um, to, to leaders that says, you know, there's this, this competing kind of thing going on right now. It's about being mindful and present, but then in the middle of, of, you know, in your book, you talk about this, you know, your oxygen mask first master plan. And, yep. and, and it's about planning for your, your, your work self and life and future goals, but, but I'm supposed to be present. How would you, how do you reconcile those two? Well, I've got a plan, but I'm supposed to be here now and enjoying the day. How does that, yeah. how do you reconcile those two? Well, we have this, 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 this symbol in our logo of Lawrence and co, which is the ampersand. Mm. And it's, and I mean, successful people have a clear, compelling vision and goals that they're driving to. And then they find a way to be present in whatever moment that they're in when they're at their best. Got it. And that's, that's challenging to always be present. You know, I have challenges with it and it's, when there's lots going on, you can get distracted or you can be caught up in thinking about the future or the past or your phone, whatever it happens to be. But successful people are always building towards something. Not They're not just going with the flow, generally. There are right. some philosophies that just be present and follow, but that in our world, that doesn't seem to work. So it's an end. You got to, <laughs> I think you got to do, you got to do both. It's it's an end. I see well, the end behind you. It's, it's so, it's so exactly. So it's right. It's right there. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Excellent. 